What if I told you I could save you 80 to $100 every time you went to the grocery store? It's it, done. Value added, value received. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to save a ton of money on cutting your own ribeye steaks. Who doesn't like a ribeye? If you don't like ribeye, we can't be friends. I got this steak from Costco and it was about $10 a pound. I went to my local grocery store to look to buy a ribeye that was already cut. We're talking $16 a pound. Now is the time for you to learn how to break down your own meat. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's not that hard. And just with a few skills, very little equipment, you're gonna find that you're gonna have this best quality steak that you can have for the least amount of money. Let's talk about gear. Let's talk about knives, okay? So what I have right here is a, it's what's called a breaking knife. It is, it looks a little bit intimidating, but it is not. It is very easy. It is, it helps you get through this big piece of meat. If I'm trying to use a tiny little paring knife, I'm not going to get anywhere that I need to go with this little tiny knife. Big meat big knife. Don't be scared. This is, I'm going to leave a link in the description. There's one on Amazon for like less than 40 or $45 at that price. When it becomes dull, we'll just uh, get a new one. So don't be scared about the knife or an investment in a knife. Just get the cheapest that'll get the job done. I'm going to show you in the description, I'll link to what I use. All right. So the ribeye sits between the chuck and the strip loin. So what happens is right here, you can see that this side's a little bigger, has a little more, a little fat under there. That is the chuck side. So, so on this side of the cow was the chuck and this goes into the strip loin. So we're going to start going from left to right. So what we need to do first is to even out this edge because we want a nice flat stick. So we're going to see where it comes to the end there. A nice cut right down. now, nice and easy. See? Now it's nice and flat, and we're gonna to continue to cut steaks all the way through. The best part about doing your own butchery is the fact that you get to choose what you would like to do. So I am gonna make a nice prime rib roast, the first cut, okay? So I'm gonna go probably right to here. That's gonna give me a nice, you know, two, three pound prime rib roast. So, and I'm gonna make a prime rib out of it. Again, this breaking knife, you can see how it goes through. Nice and easy, just like butter. There we go. All the way down. And that's the reason it has this curved tip is so you can come up with your hand and it comes down with the knife and goes all the way through. So there's a nice big prime rib roast that I'll make this is a great prime rib for probably two people, you know, two people here. But look at that, look at that marbling, look at that intermuscular fat. This is a choice ribeye, guys. This is not super prime, but look at that. That is so good. I'm just gonna cut more steaks. I'm gonna go an inch and a half, inch and a quarter, something like that. But I like a nice thick ribeye steak. And there's gonna be some trim on the bottom, so you wanna make it a little bigger than you think you need, okay? All the way through, slide back. Look at that one. Do it again. All the way through, slide back. Boom. Let's talk. Have I done anything complicated yet? No, I haven't. I just cut some steaks. We just slice them down the middle. That's it. Just slice them. So, haven't done anything complicated yet? Let me know when it gets hard, okay? I know you're intimidated by this big cut of meat, but let me know when it gets hard. All right, we just keep cutting down. These are about a pound a piece. Anywhere from 14 to 16 ounces, I would assume. We're just going to keep going down. All right, here we go. 
of beautiful ribeye steaks. All right, now we get to the end. So how are we going to do this? This goes this way. This goes that way. We're, we we got to deal with this. So when you get to the end, the, the best thing to do is before, before your last cut, you got to make a plan. I got to figure out how I'm going to get this straight and how I'm going to get a steak out of this one. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to square up the other end. Okay. Square up the other end. And then I'm left with one huge steak, which I'm going to cut in half. These might be a little thinner, but again, different steaks for different people. My mom comes over. She likes a medium well steak. Well, I want to, I'm going to have to have a thinner steak so I can get a nice medium well for her. These are great steaks right here. Everything gets used, everything gets saved, but these are like the butcher snack. Okay. So I'm going to, I can quick pan fry these and have a little snack before anyone else gets here. It's going to be great. Now I'm going to take all these steaks that I got and now I'm going to just trim them up even further. Um, I'm doing this kind of backwards for the camera, but again, this will be, this part will be towards you. But again, I'm just going to make a nice cut right here and we're going to this piece we're gonna save the meat and the fat you can take this fat and make beef tallow with it it's really good to cook potatoes in you can grind it up into your hamburgers I have a video on that on how to use your steak trimmings to make hamburgers so we're gonna make a nice looking nice looking ribeye steak with this cut some of that hard fat off again check the bottom make sure just give it a check look at that we got a little bit of connective tissue from where the rib eye connects to the ribs. So, boom, there we go. Grab another one. Look at it. So we got a little bit of rough on the bottom. So I'll just give it a nice little slice on the bottom using that breaking knife up like this. Move your arm hand up. It causes the knife to go down and do the work for you. That's the best. So we got this, so. Leave a little bit of fat on there. Again, that fat is gonna melt while it cooks. So we want that, we want that fat this flavor. But that, here we go, nice ribeye steak. Check that beautiful steak out, oh my goodness. Woo! <laughs> As the ribeye goes down, the steaks look different. Okay, we got we got one that looks like this, and we got one that looks like this. This almost looks like a strip almost because it doesn't have that that wheel of fat in the middle, and this one super pronounced fat in the middle. The only thing we're gonna do is this has a little bit of extra fat on. We're just gonna trim it up. This is not hard, guys. We have not done anything hard yet. And we're not going to do anything hard because it's not hard. It's intimidating because it's a huge piece of meat, but it's like, it's not really that big a deal. This is going to make an awesome prime rib. Look at this. Look at, look at that marbling in there. This is going to make an awesome prime rib. And I can't wait to show you guys how to do that. That's in a future video. So keep, stay tuned. This is all the trim that was left over. Now we can either put that in hamburgers we can trim this up even more and make beef tallow with it. I'm gonna show you in a future video how to make beef tallow. Actually, let me know in the comments if you wanna learn how to make beef tallow. If you've never had potatoes fried in beef tallow, I don't think you have lived. And this is all the steaks that we have. I'm gonna show you how it, exactly how much we saved on this cut of meat. If you like this video, I want you to watch more videos. I want you to watch more of my stuff. Now, I, this channel, what we do is we cut meat and we cook meat. That's our thing. So if you are interested in meat, cutting meat, eating meat, whatever, this is the channel for you. 
Thank you for watching, and I can't wait for you to see my other videos. I'm gonna put one on the screen right here as this ribeye as this ribeye thing falls over. I am going to put one on the screen, and I want you to watch the next video and see how we can increase our meat game.